Destructuring assignment is a JavaScript syntax that makes it possible to extract data from arrays or objects into distinct variables. One thing you can do is assign variables from objects. Now here's the old way to do it. If you have this voxel variable and it's assigned to this object where you have x, y, and z each assigned to a different variable, you can say var x equals voxel.x, var y equals voxel.y, and var z equals voxel.z. But here's how you would do it with destructuring. And we're done. That's all it is for destructuring. So it's going to create these three variables from voxel. So if we comment this out, and then I'm going to put console.log x and you can see over on the console here. So it's just a quicker and neater way to assign values directly from an object. You can also do it like this. Let me copy this and paste and now we're going to make a slight change. So this means that we're going to get the field x from voxel and copy the value into A. We're going to get the field Y from voxel and copy the value into B. So we can do console.log B and you can see we have 3.6 from when we log the X and then 7.4 when we log the B. 7.4 comes from up there. So you can change the names right when you're when you're doing this. You don't have to use the names from the original object. Okay, you can also assign variables from nested objects. Okay, here's a nested object here. We have const a, and inside a we have start that's assigned to this object, and in that's assigned to this object, and then here we're using destructuring, and here using destructuring the variable start is assigned to the value of a.start, which is also an object. So we're going to go into the object start, then we're going to take the x value and assign that to the variable start x which is going to be 5. Then we're going to take the y value from start and assign it to the value for start y. So we can console.log that. Oh, but let's just change this a to the word nest because a is already used previously in our program. Okay, now you can see at the bottom 5. So the value of start x is 5. So we look into start, we look into x, and then we have 5 here. Just like you can de destructure objects, you can de destructure arrays. So let's look at an example of that. Okay, so we've assigned Q and R to this array, but it's just going to take the first two elements from the array and assign it to Q and R. So if I run that, and you can see 1, 2. We've console.log 1, 2 here. And you can also access the value of any index in an array with destructuring by using commas to re reach the desired index. So if I just add a couple commas here and then run that again, 1, 4. So it got this, it got the 1 here, it skipped 2, it skipped 3, and then it got the 4 here. You can basically do the same thing with the rest operator. So you can use the rest operator to reassign array elements. So I'm going to make some quick changes to what I had above there. So I just run that, ran that. See, we console.log Q and R. That's right here, 1 and 2. And then I console.log rest, which is 3, 4, 5. What we did there was that variables Q and R got the first and second values of the array. And then because of the rest operator's presence, this is the rest operator, these three dots, the rest variable here gets the rest of the values in the form of the array. So 3, 4, and 5 goes into this rest variable, and then we can console.log it here. The rest element only works correctly as the last variable in the list. And then one more thing, a bonus, because I didn't have it written on there yet, you can use destructuring to pass an object as a function's parameters. So here's one way to do it. You can pass in an object which would have all these properties here. It would have the name, age, nationality, and location properties. And then you use destructuring, just like we saw before, to destructure all these properties from the object into their own variables. But there is a different way to do this. 
instead of using the destructuring line right in this function, we can take this section right here. I'm going to copy that and we'll put it right in here. I can take this out completely. Now we are still passing in a profile data object, but right in the parameter, we're destructuring that object into the different variables. So again, you're only passing in one object, even though in the parameter there's all these variable names, you're just passing in a single object that contains all these items as properties within the object, and then um, you can destructure out into the different variable names. And let's say your object has all these properties, it has name, age, nationality, location. If you only want to use the name and the age in your function, you don't have to pass in these other items. So even though you pass in just the one profile data object, it's only, only going to take these two properties, name and age, and turn them into variables for your function. And that's destructuring. Thanks for watching. My name is Bo Carnes. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, use your code for good.